Colorado State House Representative Brianna Tatone, who represents the state's 27th district. She is Colorado's first openly trans lawmaker. Thank you for being with us. What is going through your mind? How are you thinking about this, both personally and from your perch as a legislator? Well, I mean, I woke up this morning pretty shocked, and uh, my phone had stopped, didn't stop buzzing uh, from the minute I woke up and uh, until just recently. Uh, but this is something that, you know, we've been on edge about for a long time because the rhetoric that's been coming out of a lot of places, especially from the Colorado Springs area, uh, has been really damaging and, and dangerous. We've been looking at a lot of uh, news articles. There was a, an article recently that said uh, there were 11 anti-LGBT uh, news articles that came out that, that described uh, harrowing things that they were saying. And, and this hasn't stopped. And a lot of people have been afraid that this was going to happen, and, and now it's upon us. It's happening. And uh, I really appreciated what the bartender said. And, you know, the I, my heart goes out to the victims and the families, and uh, I, particularly to the heroes that really uh, did, a, did the work to stop the perpetrator. Uh, but this is all about strength and resiliency of the LGBT community. And we've been under fire for a long time. For decades, uh, the LGBT community has been struggling to gain rights. And any step that takes us backwards, we're going to continue to be resilient, to be strong and be together, especially on uh, tonight, which is Trans Day of Remembrance, is where we really try to be together and, uh, and stay together for each other. The, the, the date is not lost on me either. Of course, a motive has not yet been identified by investigators, but this comes at a time when this type of hate is rampant online. It is also echoed by people who have big platforms, some of them elected officials themselves. What is your message to those folks in this moment? Yeah, well, we have a legislator here in Colorado who has been spewing out things for years, and I've called her out on it, uh, <laughs> Representative Bobert in particular, and, uh, and many others. And we just want them to stop. We want them to stop with these tropes, with these dangerous things that they're saying that are perpetrating these misinformations, and we just want to be left alone in peace. Uh, anytime that these these myths and these tropes are spread around about us, it drives people to say hateful things. And hateful things being said turns into bullying, and then it turns into worse. And that's what we're trying to stop. And if we can just get people to stop saying these things, to stop demonizing and villainizing LGBT people, especially trans youth, then we can really start to feel that we're being acknowledged for who we are and, and not be treated as uh, pariahs in the community.